This is a question from computer networks regarding carrier sense based medium access protocol. Now the question text was very lengthy. I have written down the summary here. You can refer to the question paper to see the exact text. So what they were saying in the question is that multiple nodes are connected by a shared broadcast medium. Nodes follow carrier sense based medium access protocol. Nodes do carrier sensing for five time units. So how it follows is it will every node when it has a packet to transmit it will do carrier sensing for five time units and if there are no transmissions detected in this five time units they will start transmitting the packet and if they detect any transmission they'll wait for the transmission to finish and then they will do carrier sensing for five time units again and if no collision is detected that node will start transmitting so that's how it works once the transmission is started and no collision detection is performed so after starting a transmission if some collision happen the node doesn't care it will keep on transmitting all transmissions last for 20 units of time signal speed is 10 meters per time unit now in the question they are given a model where two nodes p and q are located d meters apart and p starts transmitting at time t equal to zero and q receives a packet to transmit at time t equal to zero so it will start its carrier sensing phase at t equal to zero the minimum distance d that allows q to avoid collision is now this is the model they have given in the question at time t equal to zero p is starting its transmission and here q will start collision detection now q will perform collision detection for five for five time units and after five time units if there is no collision happening q will start its transmitting at five after five time units now we'll see that all transmission will last 20 units of time so this will keep on trans this transmission will happen from t equal to 0 to t equal to 20 p will keep on transmitting now after that it will reach q now if q starts transmitting at 5 definitely 5 falls between t0 and 20 so if q starts transmitting at 5 it will result in a collision somewhere in between now before five time units are over this signal should reach q only then q will be able to detect it now if the signal doesn't reach q before five time units q will also start transmitting here and that will result in a collision now we know that signal speed is 10 meters per time unit so it will travel 10 meters in one time unit so in five time units it will travel into 10 that is 50 meters so if the distance is less than or equal to 50 the signal will reach q before five time units and q will detect a collision and there won't be any collision happening q will detect a transmission and there won't be any collision happening since once a transmission is detected q won't be sending again but if the distance is more than 50 meters the signal won't reach q before five time units so q won't know p is transmitting and q will start transmitting and it will result in a collision so the answer is 50 meters